for joining us. Difficult to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, very difficult to to listen to, to watch. Uh, you know, last week, earlier in the week, they played the 911 call, which was really hard. Uh, this shouldn't have happened, Ike. He should not have been here. He took a flight that was paid by taxpayers. This was the Biden-Harris flight from New York to Georgia. He preyed on Lake and Riley. She should be alive if the Biden-Harris administration had the border closed. Yeah. Yet they didn't. They didn't close the border. They have not done any kind of decent job of keeping our country secure. This guy, like you said, took the joyride to Georgia, and Lake and Riley is trying to exercise. She's literally just doing something that, any basic American would like to be able to do in peace. Mm -hmm. And this guy laid in wait and he waited for her to run by. And he was literally looking for a victim. He was a crime looking for a victim to happen. And, and so this is, as a father of daughters, this is just your worst nightmare. It's gut-wrenching uh, to watch the reaction from these parents, but it never should have happened from the party that says they care about women. They literally are allowing rapists and convicted murders to run around in our country unchecked, and I can't wait for Tom Homan to get in the office of border czar and start yeah. cracking down on this immediately. Ike, I just, I want to get to this because I'm from Massachusetts. So obviously the story is important to me. I have children there. So I said one of the suspects, an illegal immigrant from Guatemala, was arrested for forcible rape of a child, but was released in Great Barrington, Massachusetts by authorities who ignored a detainer request made by the federal agency to hold or transfer him to federal custody. The governor is in charge of the state of Massachusetts. Authorities ignored that. They knew what they needed to do, yet they allowed him to stay in Massachusetts. How many people are in these states that are criminals, that are raping women and children? And these governors and these mayors are saying they want to protect their residents. Why? Is it for votes? Are people like Jose Abarra going to go and vote for a Democrat? Is it? What is the reason, you think? It's really hard to figure out the mind of a liberal, but some theories could be they're trying to flood our various states with purple colors, basically, to move them from, you know, from redder to, to, to bluer, if you will. And the other part of it is the census comes into play, which affects representation in Congress. Or you could get even more sinister in that they don't want to protect our children for some reason. Mm -hmm. When you, you look at all the things that are happening uh, around our kids and the fact that they're allowing our kids to be exposed to so many terrible things, even in our schools, mm -hmm. one then begins to wonder why... Yeah. Do, why, do, why do the liberals not want to protect our children? This is a, a mandate in life that we must protect our children. Any Bible-believing person or any moral person knows any that human. children are innocent and yeah. we have to protect them.